I, uh, I want to ask here this afternoon whether it's really true that those 200 rich friends of Mr. Connolly delivered you to Mr. Nixon. Actually, uh, I suspect that Mr. Connolly feels a little nervous out on that limb with a party that has been characterized this year by all the special interest deals that we've read about, the secret campaign funds, the wire... Oh, oh good. They'd find themselves between a rock and a hard place. This Constitutional Convention under the Amendment 4 scheme is scheduled to convene in January of 1974 and last through the end of May. Well, that's the politicking season for re-election in the spring primaries. So this Amendment 4 idea expects these politicians to sit as a Constitutional Convention at the same time while they're out politicking for votes for re-election. I think this is something that certainly piques the interest of the councilman, particularly the matter of pay, which might uh, attract more people of the average citizen type. Of course, I'm still against uh, an increase during my particular term, as I've said before. As for the terms, the four-year terms would give continuity, perhaps, to our city council meetings. And in the case of mayor, I think a six-year term limitation, that is three two-year terms, is about right. great institution.
I got what I got. Honey, when are you all going to start selling all these tamales? Right now. Well, how about if I just take a dozen of them? You'll be our first customer. Oh, thank the Lord. Girls, we've made our first sale. What does this mean? Good. Well, we always thank the Lord when we make our first sale. But does that mean that my tamales are blessed? Well, that's up to him, really. Okay, well, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to name as Secretary of Agriculture a working farmer who will put the interests of the farm people of this country first and foremost beyond any narrow special interest. And so McGovern goes right down to the wire in search of votes in this election in spite of heavy odds against his being able to win. He had other stops scheduled later today in Corpus Christi, in Arkansas, and Missouri. In speaking of chances of winning, the latest poll taken for a person seeking a high state office in Texas indicates that Nixon will get 65% of the votes, McGovern only 20%. The others are still undecided. But I guess if McGovern believed polls, he would have quit a long time ago. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News on the Move in Waco. I don't know what you look, what bitch is what I Well, uh, from a mechanical standpoint, of course, uh, what the surgeon does is to overcome a mechanical block in the circulation. And uh, maybe he is a machine in that sense. But uh, what is important from a patient's standpoint is that he gets effective treatment. And that is what is being done in a high proportion of patients. Uh, I think this has been studied very clearly. We find that uh, the majority of our people in these areas in a business way, but just because I am in a, and I'm, I just, uh, well, I'm kind of disgusted with them, to be quite truthful. The anti, because we believe in it, and I'm a very, per the Drys claim that liquor sales will spread honky-tonks and taverns throughout the three states. Especially elected delegates would find themselves in a more favorable position. Right. Especially elected delegates could make their decision on one thing, the merits of a good constitution.
whereas these politician delegates would have the ancillary but maybe paramount consideration, what's going to be good for my political career? find others who did not. I really don't see any concern. But let me also hasten to say that uh, there have been no promises made. The course is a committee that is appointed by the regents and uh, maybe a, a real But the recommendations were made by a San Francisco consultant firm which was hired by the city council to find ways of improving city government. The firm's major recommendations fell into two categories, pay and election of the city council. The consultants suggested the mayor's pay be up to $15,000 a year and to $4,500 a year for the other council members. The current pay is $50 per council meeting. According to the consultants, such a change would more adequately reflect the workload and responsibility placed on today's Dallas City Council. As for the election changes, the consultants recommended the council's terms in office be increased from two to four years, with elections held on a staggered basis and with each council member limited to one consecutive term. But the consultants felt the mayor's term should remain at two years, limited to three consecutive terms. But there is a price tag for these recommendations. The fee for the consulting firm is $48,000. But the taxpayers of Dallas will have a chance to get into the act when the recommendations come before the voters of the city in the December city charter elections. Jack Hill, Channel 8 News on the Move in Waxahachie. Well, in my opinion, this is uh, strictly my opinion, I, I think we're, these are three very progressive areas as have, have already been shown by their growth. And any progressive area is going forward. We want fine hotels and fine restaurants, and, which will create new jobs for everyone. And if we have liquor by the drink or retail liquor in these areas, it's going to increase new businesses coming in, which we need and we want. This alone will keep up our economy in our area. 